Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I'm just going to read from you from some e called evolution quotes. It says the number of intermediate varieties which have formerly existed on Earth must be truly enormous. Why does it that is it not very every geological formation and every stratum follows such intermediate links, intermediate links? Geology assuredly does not reveal any such finely graduated organic chain. And this perhaps is the most obvious and gravest objection which can be urged against my theory, Charles Darwin, 1902 edition. Quote, I am quite conscious that my speculations run beyond the bounds of true science. It is a mere rag of a hypothesis which met many flaws and holes as time parts. Charles Darwin to Asa Gray, cited by Adrian Desmond and James Moore Darwin, New York, W.W. Norton Company, 1991, page 467. 475. Quote, Nowhere was Darwin able to point to one bona fide case of natural selection having actually generated evolutionary change in nature. Ultimately, Darwin's theory of evolution is no more nor less than the great cosmogenic myth of the 20th century, Michael Denton, Evolution Theory and Crisis, uh, Bethesda, Maryland, Alder, Alder, 1986, page 62, 35, and 358. I believe that one day the Darwinian myth will be ranked the greatest deceit in the history of science. Soren Luftrop, Darwinism, the reputation of the myth, New York, Helm, 1987, page 422. Next quote, scientists do go about teaching that evolution is a fact of life for great con men, and the story they are telling may be the great hoax ever. In explaining evolution, we do not have one iota of fact, Dr. T. N. Tasmanian Evolution and the Emperor's New Clothes, N.J. Michael, United Kingdom, Writing Publications, 1983, title page. I can go on and on and on with stacks of books. All right, take care.